Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Welcome to this edition of Yay or Nay with Dirt Farmer Jay, where we take a look at products and solutions around the home, the shop, the garden that really can make a difference about getting the job done easily. Well, if you're like us, we really enjoy having a lawn tractor and Dirt Farmer Maggie loves this machine and really enjoys the summertime of tending to an area. She says, what else can you do in life that you can make that kind of difference that quickly and take disorder to order so quickly and this machine really helps it. But one thing we noticed is when she works with this, you go ahead and you put your hands on it to start stirring it and that's fine on gentle curves or straight lines. But when it comes time to turn, then you have to switch your grip up, either do an upside down grip or kind of go and turn widely. Wouldn't it be great if you could find a way to grab onto the wheel? Well, the common way that we've seen on larger tractors is called a spinner. And wouldn't you know it, we were recently at our friends at Tractor Supply Company and found this little product called the Easy Rider from GVPower.com. And this is what's commonly called a spinner on some of the other tractors. I've heard it as a Brody knob, all sorts of things like that. But it allows you to grab a single knob that spins and turn with one hand to make maneuvering much easier and also backing up and that sort of thing. So we're gonna go in and install this unit, like I said, about $20, and then let's just see how it works and whether it's a yay or nay, and this time, we're gonna let Dirt Farmer Maggie make the determination. All right, let's do it. All right, let's get to work on it. First thing we've done is we've taken this out of the package. Uh, there is a Allen wrench that comes with it that we're gonna tighten when we take the cap off of this ring clamp. There is also a spacer uh, that gets placed under the wheel in case you have a small diameter wheel. Uh, this one has enough girth around it that we don't have a problem with that, so we won't use that. Uh, there's a nice set of instructions that are just very, very simple because it just doesn't take that much uh, to get this done. So uh, it's essentially three steps and you're finished. One other thing that you're going to need is um, something to pry out the top right there. So I just have my utility knife and what you're gonna do is take that, pry out the top, lift it out, and then you can see the access. All right, now that we have it right there, let's go ahead and take their supplied wrench, insert it here in the Allen key area right here on this cap bolt, unscrew this, and when you do, you're gonna notice there's a washer right under it. Be careful you don't lose that washer, okay? So that washer's set aside along with the bolt, and then go ahead and lift this off. So now you have the stem, but now this stem needs to come off like that. And now you have this ring to put around uh, your steering wheel, okay? So here we go. It just slips by each other like that. And I like to put this, I'm right-handed when I'm steering, so I wanted to put it at about the uh, one o'clock, two o'clock position. If you're left-handed and tend to do that, then I'd put it over here at the 11 or 10 position. But we're gonna go ahead and just put it around this. And it appears that there will be enough tightening, but I'm gonna go ahead and just slip that under just in case. There we go, really easy. See there, that just slips under. You can see it and then I'll rotate it around. And that would kind of guard the underside also, so it'd be easier on the top of your legs if you spin this around. Now you've got this in the position there. We're gonna go ahead and put this back the way it was. It is molded to fit. There we go. Go ahead and take this, put it back over the top. Nice ball bearing action there, it's very clear. Go ahead and put the washer back in place on top. Insert the cap bolt. And let's go ahead and tighten it down. Oh yeah, that's tightening up really nicely. Oh yeah, good grip. Feels really solid. Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere. And there we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and just put this back on the Easy Rider cap. Boom, and there we are. Well, I'm gonna put Dirt Farmer Maggie uh, to work on this and see how she likes it. Let's take a look. 
All right, we have Dirt Farmer Maggie on the tractor. All right, lady, let's go ahead and reach up there and grab that. Uh, put your hand on the other side where you would normally drive. So far, it looks like it's just kind of like in a natural position or you'd be able to steer with the one. Well, let's put the, start the tractor up and let you drive around on it and see what you think. All right, there we go. And there you have it. It's a yay or nay. It is a yay from Dirt Farmer Maggie. We really like this product. So we're really pleased with the quality and the functionality we've seen this product from gvpower.com. And in the packet, they had another little mini catalog right there that just talks about some of their other products that we'll take a look at as well and see if they're valid solutions for the life around the home or the garden or the hobby farm. So uh, we'll take a look at that. You know, another thing that's really frustrating is trying to find the right tire and inner tube sizes for these small tires for yard equipment like uh, utility trailers as well as a yard tractor like this. Well, check out this video that we did recently that tells you exactly how to determine them and then better yet, how to change it with a minimum of hassle and get the right tire and be back in service quickly. And while you're at it, check out this other video that YouTube has chosen from our catalog that they think matches your interest perfectly and we think you'll like it as well. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay enjoying a new ride.